Hey guys, I'm Josie, and here's the Tuesday news. Chuck Norris claims that Obama is a socialist and that he's only out to steal your wallet. This could be a racism thing, although I doubt that Obama will be needing my wallet because he's going to be the one who's gonna live in the White House. Palin has received her first job offer since the election. Some director has offered her two million dollars to star in his next porn movie. And he's even offered the role of her co-star to her husband, Todd. She still hasn't publicly responded to the offer. I'm guessing she's still considering it. A man from Houston, Texas, who prefers to stay anonymous, has made an online game called Kaboom the Suicide Bomber game, in which you have to move an Arab terrorist uh, along a busy street and get as close as possible to the most civilians. Uh, politicians are outraged and people are shocked. The inventor has received death threats, but he doesn't see what the big deal is though. He says the game isn't even finished, and if you would play it for two minutes, you would see immediately how pointless it really is. 17-year-old Spencer Eldon was used on the cover of the Nirvana album Nevermind when he was a baby, and now 17 years later, he wanted to recreate the image and did so in the exact same pool. Uh, here's a picture. The only difference this time is that he's actually wearing shorts. In Puckett, Mississippi, school students aren't allowed to talk about Obama in class or in the hallways. I seriously don't get what the principal hopes to achieve with this rule. Nicole Kidman will produce and star in the movie The Danish Girl as the world's first post-op transsexual and she'll be married to Charlize Theron in the movie. The president-elect and his family have already gotten code names appointed by Secret Service. Obama's code name will be Renegade. Renegade is pretty okay. It could have been worse. It could have been something like Tumblr, but George Bush already has that one. So my question of the day is what would you like your code name to be? The town in Turkey called Batman is suing Christopher Nolan for using its name. They're saying that the royalty of the name Batman belongs to them and that the American producers have been using the name without informing. The ironic thing is that the town has been facing an increase in crime and suicide amongst women as well as the economic problems that everyone else has been dealing with. And the sad thing is that this case might actually see the inside of a courtroom. Cute animal story of the day? Here's a cat in desperate need of attention. I'm sorry about the crappy video quality lately. Um, my old camera broke down, so I'm stuck with this crappy webcam for now. I'm gonna try and fix it and mess with the settings a bit and try and do some post-production on it. If it really doesn't work, I'll just get a new camera. I just wanted to say that I've been receiving a lot of messages lately from people saying that they really like the news clips, and I just wanted to say thanks to all you guys. I'm really happy that you like it and I'll try to keep it interesting. So let me know if you've got some suggestions or what you think can improve, besides from the crappy video quality. I got a rather strange request though from Puka0666. He wrote, and I'll quote, um, If you suddenly grew to be 11,000 feet tall, explain how you might accidentally step on some people and what they would see last when they looked up and how you'd notice that you stepped on them. Also explain what people you'd purposely want to step on, and explain how you'd step on them with your giant bare foot. Would you stomp them completely flat into your giant footprint, or grind them into the sole of your giant bare foot? I'm not gonna read the entire message, it pretty much goes on like that. I think it's about the strangest message I've gotten so far, so I just wanted to bring that up. I don't think I'd want to step on anyone. It'd be cool to be a giant though, although I'd probably feel like a freak and be miserable. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to say, and it's all the Tuesday news I got. Thanks for watching, and peace out!